Okay, everyone, so this, uh, this course has lasted two months, although we missed one week at the beginning of this month, just because of the school schedule. Usually, this course is two months long and four weeks, so the four weeks of the month. This particular summer session, it was three weeks on the first month, I believe, and three weeks on the second. So that does necessitate that we miss some content. There's just not enough hours in the classes. So what I'm going to provide for you then are some links here to some of the things that we kind of ran out on a little bit of time for and that would be very useful for you. Because I've taught this class, variations of this class, for several years now. And as I've shown, as I've said, these lectures that I'm putting online, they're the uncut versions. But I have put together some videos that are just complete lectures. There's no in the middle pausing and all of that. They're complete lectures. Let me bring those to your attention because there you can go back and watch the videos of, for example, setting up PayPal. We didn't get a chance to directly set up PayPal ourselves because everyone seemed to have it, but if you still need some help with that, I'll show you that. And a couple of things that we missed, like uh, we're not going to have really a lot of time to deal with taxes. We, we talked some about it, but to more detail, I have a video for that. So if you open up your web browser, and I would say open, your, op open Google Chrome for the moment, because it seems that we don't have the Flash player on Opera. Open Google Chrome, and we'll go over to the main link to all my videos. When you sent me a link, when you sent me an email asking for the link, I'm sending you the playlist for just this class. But if you want to access every single video that I've ever put online, and don't pass this out, you can go to the main link, which is youtube.com slash instructor victor c. Don't forget the c at the end. There's another, I believe there's another address of Instructor Victor that, uh, that exists. But go to youtube.com slash instructor victor c. Once you go to my main channel here, on the top here you've got home videos playlists. Right under, my, right under my graphics here, then go to playlists, click on playlists. We'll have to hunt around a little bit, but oh look, here's our class right there. Summer 2015 with 11 videos. Here's other classes that are going on or have gone on. So if we scroll back to other versions of the class, and I've got to go back and rename the playlists a little bit more um, a little more obviously perhaps. Some of them are a little hard to tell, but uh, there's gonna be a playlist Uh, where we've got oh here here we go so if we scroll back to the to the ones that are listed like this with week one week two and so forth um, those will have some content that we didn't get to in this class. Because what I've done in this class is I've put in all the videos in one playlist. So SDE, SDCE Summer 2015 e-commerce with WordPress 2 includes all the videos of this month. But then on the previous ones, for example, SDCE e-commerce with WordPress 2 week 3, that was for a previous semester. So if you go to the last week, of WordPress 2 from a previous semester, that'll have some of the content that we didn't quite get to this semester. And probably uh, the most important one is actually taking this website and putting it off of the internet. Mm -hmm. And that's going to vary for people. Because if I say, okay, everyone, let me show you how to do this in GoDaddy. Not everyone has GoDaddy. 
and I could say, let me show you how to do this in Bluehost. Not everyone has Bluehost. Let's say I do cover those two big ones. Well, then someone's going to come in and say, I don't even have that. I have this or this or that. So there's a certain point that I can't do a lecture for everyone on how to put it up online. It's better for individual purposes. But the, the, what we've done throughout the days, remember, we created a database. We, uh, we added the, 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 the duplicator and we brought the site back to life. We have to do something like that on your real site. Yeah, I am skipping a bunch of stuff there, but it depends on your particular setup, your particular provider. There is, uh, on these videos then, however, a little bit more explanation than we have time to get into. For some reason, which I find odd, uh, the organization, um, we've got date created. This can only show it under date created. I wish it would show it alphabetically. Um, because uh, it's not grouping together exactly. Like here's WordPress 2 week 3 and it's before WordPress 2 week 2. So you just have to kind of look around, look at their names. Uh, E-commerce WordPress 2 week 4. So actually week 4, which is lower down, you would think it's older, but... Uh, and then there's week 5. So there, there has been a time when there were five weeks to this class. So that's where the other classes, the other semesters are available at. You just go to my channel, youtube.com slash instructor victor. Browse around a little bit there. And these videos are going to stay there. I'm not going to take them down. Uh, you can go back and view them whenever you'd like. You can subscribe to the main channel and you will get then an email that says a new video has been uploaded by Instructor Victor. And we will always keep up to date. You can do the little search on the top of that. You can do e-commerce too, and you'll just pull out those. The little search bar. Oh yes, the little okay. magnifying glass here. E-commerce. Although some of them might call them simply e-com. So are you sure that fully works? Yeah, sure. Look like e e-commerce 2 so there we go So it's great to take a class and learn these things in a uh, structured method. And it's great to then have the instructor come over to help you when, you, when something goes wrong. But then when uh, you're at home or elsewhere, or you're not in a class, let me show you a couple of resources that you can look into for, your, for on your own to, uh, you know, to, help, your, to help yourself. And I, I do this myself too. I, uh, who do I turn to if I have a problem? I can turn to other people in my company. Maybe I, I can't get an answer right away from them, so I, um, I can turn to a couple of resources. Here's the first one. If you go to the address wordpress.org, wordpress.org, and then we've got support forums and documentation. Documentation is the manual for everything about WordPress. It's a little dry, but it'll tell you everything about WordPress and examples and so forth. There's a table of contents and you can search and all of that, but it's the manual to WordPress. A more living document is the, are the forums. You can go to the forums and they're divided into beginners, intermediate, advanced, e-commerce, etc., etc. And so you can look up the questions that people have had, and you can pose your own question. And then either official WordPress representatives might answer you, or helpful members of the community. They can point you to an existing answer, they can answer your question. But this is another great place. The documentation and the forums are a couple of great places for you to solve your issues about your, 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 your problem of your site. You can ask questions about WordPress in general, themes in specific, plugins in specific. 
plugin authors are also hanging around the forums answering the questions of their plugins. So you can search a particular plugin, a question for it, ask a question for it, the, th the plugin author will probably be there in answering those questions and give you results. If it's a very complex question, they'll probably then say, oh, remember, we offer tech support with the paid version, and you get better results. I'm doing a, a dream reader site. Let's say I have a pretty good uh, images file and uh, quite a few pages. It goes pretty deep. It would take uh, you know, a couple hours you know, to load up all of those files, the next file, and all the pages and the images. You know, that's a new file. How long do you usually take to notice the amount of files in this WordPress are right, way, 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 way more files? Can you give it a three-day process to upload? No, it doesn't. It looks it's a, it's a lot of files, but file size-wise, it's not that big. Okay. It's like a thirty megabyte site. Okay. Right. It's not so bad. It is. It is a lot of files that'll that'll upload one at a time and such. So but if you're using most of the mo the modern file uploading software you can just select everything at once and click upload and that usually uploads everything for you you don't have to go to an individual subfolder and upload that one item and then another folder and upload that most of the modern uploaders like the one built into GoDaddy or if you use FileZilla or whatever usually you're able to upload everything in a big batch okay. and you shouldn't have to deal with those uh, inconsistencies the other place that I recommend to get more help is um, this family of help sites called uh, s called uh, StackExchange.com. StackExchange.com. This is a site uh, for question and answers. This is part of the Stack Exchange network in that it's divided into subcategories. So if you go to Stack Exchange, it says what the site is about. You can create an account to ask questions and all of that. You don't need an account to search, however. And then you go to All Sites. You see on the top right it says All Sites. And here are the individual exchanges. So there's a place where people ask their mathematical questions, their uh, arcade questions, English language, Mac questions, uh, WordPress development. You see there's a, there's a WordPress section. There's a section just on Unix, game development, photography. Where do you see WordPress? Uh, it's it's a little one, but it's right there. WordPress development. And so, uh, if I go over to WordPress development, this tells me there's fifty nine thousand questions, seventy four thousand answers, seventy three percent of all questions have been answered, and there's fifty three thousand users engaged here. You visit the site, and you'll see that in general, um, WordPress Development Stack Exchange is a question and answer site for WordPress developers and administrators. It's 100% free, no registration required. And so here's some of the latest questions one page short codes, plug in not saving values when placed in folder within right here, 57 views, one answer. This one's got two answers, etc. Someone over here, related question, what does this strange piece of code mean? So just as an example that was asked, people ask the question, people give answers. It's a compound literal for C99. Anyway, we were uh, here in the, um, in the WordPress uh, development exchange, then I can t type at the top, search WP e-commerce. So 
So there's some results, there's some questions, people can give an answer. So it's like similar to Wikipedia and people in that people can contribute. And then you think, well, if anyone can write anything on Wikipedia or this, people can write crazy things, right? Yes, but Wikipedia and Stack Exchange uh, have a mechanism to weed out the bad stuff. The good stuff rises to the top because people give it an upvote. So if it's a good answer, people will see it, they'll give it an upvote. If it's a bad answer, um, it'll go down. So Stack Exchange is this family of places for people to ask questions and answers. And this is a great place, especially for development and such. Uh, WordPress and coding and other things. It's a great place people asking questions, giving answers. And what's cool is that you can get a variety of topics. Uh, I always like to take a quick peek over here. Science fiction and fantasy. When and why did the shape of Captain America's shield change? <laughs> and that has an answer. In the Star Wars universe, how much construction time was needed to build ships? Why did the Jedi learn fencing? Two answers. How could the level crossing at the end of Back to the Future 3 know that the locomotive would arrive? Good question. How did Vader know that Obi-Wan was helping Luke? Anyway, this is all right. So um, those are the two big places: WordPress.org and Stack Exchange, for you to keep uh, getting more knowledge about WordPress, because you're not always going to have someone to turn to when you need it. And then I'm, I gave also the link to my other videos here that would be helpful for you. Yes? Um, I don't know if there's any resources for it, but uh, I'm just curious, like, my graphic designer, people are always asking me to build sites, so I decided to learn how to build sites, but um, I don't know much about pricing sites for people. Yeah, pricing is always very complex. Um, off the top of my head, I wouldn't really be able to point you to a site for that. Uh, it kind of comes a little bit with experience, but you know we can talk during the during the lab time and such. It really you have to think about how much education you have and experience you have, and that commands more higher prices. It also has to do with who the client is. You might have all this experience and education and want to charge hundred dollars an hour, and that would be perfect for a company that makes a good, you know, good revenue. But then that's way too expensive for that mom and pop shop that is just opening up. So for them, you might charge twenty-five dollars an hour, and that of course would be laughable to charge for that company that has a million-dollar revenue. They'll still hire you, but then you'll be losing money. So that's a big question, and I can't quite think of any resources to look that up. Uh, but I, I guess I kind of thought of one right now. Um, I think it's called um, glassdoor.com. Let me confirm that. Glassdoor.com, get hired, love your job. But I believe here is also, you can kind of like gauge. This is supposed to kind of be, okay, you look for a job and all of that, but you also look up company reviews and salaries. So it's sort of like a place for, for you to look up what's the going rate for a particular task, and then that might point you toward figuring out how much you can charge. Glassdoor.com So just some quick prices here. Out of 31 salaries, this is people submitting what their salary is. National average forty six thousand per year. San Diego average forty seven thousand per year. Sony hourly contractor for graphic design thirty five dollars an hour. So a place to look in there.
So in all of these uh, time that we've been together, hopefully then you've gone from, if you had no experience in WordPress, now you know a fair amount. There's still, of course, more to learn, but you've learned a good amount. If you did have experience in WordPress, now hopefully then we've learned more what we wanted to about the e-commerce. And there's still more to learn, of course, but uh, there's many of those resources, like I said. And then you can take the class again. You, uh, things always change and we have more Oftentimes the class lasts a little longer, four weeks, sometimes five weeks, depending on the month. You're welcome to take the class again as many times as you want. If you wanted to stick more, you're welcome to come in on the last day of class, the second to last day of class. You have to register, of course, but you're welcome to do that. And these classes are, are continually happening and they're free here at this college. You just have to enroll and you can keep, your, keep, uh, keep increasing your knowledge. So that's the main idea of this class.